Well, hello everybody and welcome to Norwich Theatre. And this week, there has been a vicious murder on the stage of the Theatre Royal. And joining me are Susie Blake, Sophie Ward and Joe McFadden. Welcome to Norwich. Thank you. How has the tour been so far? We're kind of midway through the run now. How has it been for you all? Well, I think we're all still getting on. There's 14, yeah. 15, 16 of us. We still like each other. Touring, I think, uh, including, you know, our crew that we take mm. with us as well, who are phenomenal doing wigs and doing wardrobe and building the set everywhere we go and I think we're all still enjoying it very much. Really well. And the audience seems to be loving it as well which is even more important. Now the mirror cracked is brought to life on stage through real emotional depth and insight to the story. What's your favourite part of the show itself? Joe, we'll start with you. Oh my favourite part. I love our dance that we do at the start. <laughs> the opening sequence. The opening sequence. Yeah, it's, 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 a it's a dream that Miss Marple has, so it's all quite kind of um, dreamlike and silly, and we do this dance. I quite like that. Mm. But yeah. Okay. What's your favourite bit? <laughs> yeah. uh, my favourite bit? Um, that's, that's a really hard thing to answer, actually, because um, I'm so involved with trying to find out what the hell's going on. Mm. Uh, that uh, I, I couldn't really pick on any particular piece. Uh, I just enjoy the whole thing. I really do, from beginning to end. And it really is, for me, it's a, 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 a pretty continuous um, because she, she goes into every sort of nook and cranny of the story. And so uh, I, I couldn't really pick a bit because it's one continuous investigation. Mm. Um, well, um, I've got two wonderful scenes with Susie that I really enjoy. They're, they're very different, um, and uh, but we actually is that, that we actually get to make a connection with each mm -hmm. other, don't we? So, yeah, I love those. Lovely. And Susie, what do you think you personally bring to the role of Miss Marple? Is there anything, any of your characteristics personally that you bring to the role? I've learned a lot from doing this uh, mm -hmm. show. I've learned to be a better listener um, and uh, and allow my emotions to show a bit. I'm quite a good cover-up person myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do I bring to myself? I suppose I'm learning to be a bit more confident about uh, what I bring to a part because we've had a wonderful director, Philip Franks, yes. who's been incredibly encouraging. So I, I've got more confident through playing her. I couldn't tell you what I bring to it. I hope that I bring, you know, the truth of the story to it and, and the humour of the woman too, which you don't often see, I think, probably. Uh, yes, I, I don't know how else to answer it. She's brilliant. She brings brilliance. <laughs> you are brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, um, Agatha Christie's novels have been turned on the TV series, films, and you know, theatre plays. This specific adaptation, what do you think people will love about this new play? So Rachel Wagstaff has done this adaptation and um, she's not really changed anything substantial about the book, but what she has done is really developed the characters. Mm. So I think that, what, and there's an awful lot of humour in it. Yes. So there's this great contrast and I think that's what audiences have really been enjoying is that it's very funny, mm. but you also have this sort of heartbreaking um, depth to every character and you find out how, why each one's story is interesting and why mm. they matter, uh, which you don't always get with murder mysteries, let's face it, quite a lot of the time, you know, people are bumped off and then we move on to the next yeah. victim, <laughs> but in this you really, I think you really feel and, and care, especially for the central um, murder that happens, mm. yeah. Okay. And Joe, yes. you've got a plethora of of things on your CV, you know, you've got loads some of them of good. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've got loads of theatre credits and TV credits, and of course, yeah. winning Strictly in uh, Strictly from Dancing in 2017 as well. What do you prefer more? Do you prefer being on the screen or do you prefer being on the stage? I love that I get to do everything. Mm -hmm. Really, um, I feel very, very fortunate that I get to do bits of telly. I get to do plays. I love doing theatre. I love being in a rehearsal room. I love being on the road with, with this bunch. It's which you don't really get when you're doing telly, when you're filming something, you sort of, you do your bit and then you go off home and you're not, there's not really much of a um, company atmosphere. Mm. So I, I love that. And I love um, having an audience out there, getting to see what they think of it and seeing that they actually enjoy it and meeting them in stage door. Right. So yeah, I, I absolutely love doing both and touch with long may it continue. <laughs> well, then that leads on to our final question and roll wish list. 
if you could pick any role from any show and be any character, what show would it be and what character would you play and why? Joe, we'll start with you. I mean, I've been asked this a million times and I never have an answer. I've, I've learned uh, in my long career, my long life, to not have too many goals. You just mm -hmm. go where the work is and if it's interesting and if it's exciting and you enjoy it, those are the parts that I want to play. I'd, I've always said, um, I don't know. Um, I'm too old for Seymour and Little Shaw. <laughs> Frank and Furter and Rocky Horror. Oh, quite amazing. Nice to play. Yeah, get the heels back on. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> Susan, how about you? Well, there's an interview that I did when I was about 24 where I said, I want to play Miss Marple. Oh, really? And I, I loved Margaret Rutherford mm -hmm. when I was a child. And though she's out of fashion now, very mm -hmm. much so, and, and my character is really not very much like her, I, I, that still holds. I'm very happy, thank you very much, playing Miss Marple. <laughs> Lovely, and how about you, Sophie? Um, well, I did used to have quite a few parts I wanted to play, and then I, I, I did one of them. Um, and um, I was terrible in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 well, I think I was. I didn't meet, because I had such high expectations, because yeah. I'd wanted to do it so much, I feel like it wasn't up to par anyway. I look back on that with horror, and now I think, a bit like what you're saying, Joe, that um, you know, it's very, it's lovely to be asked to do new things, mm -hmm. and, and for them, they're always unexpected. So, I mean, if I was doing Shakespeare, there were a lot of the male roles I'd like yeah. to play. Girls don't get much of a look in, really. Mm. Well, lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. The Mirror Cracked is here at Norwich Theatre Royal until Saturday the 12th of November. It has got limited tickets remaining, so make sure you book your tickets online at www.norwichtheatre.org or call our box office on 01603 630 000. Sophie, Susie, Joe, thank you so much for joining me. Thank, thank you. you.